Hi folks, hi guys. Um, we're out of the beach today. The wind is starting to pick up, so we need to get this plane in the air quickly. So out with the uh, AR Pro again. Not really done much to it since the last video. I have used some stuff called foam armor and I've coated the tips of the uh, of the wingtips here. This is a, a compound which dries uh, hard and strengthens any weak areas. So these are quite flimsy. So I've uh, I've coated the tops of those. So we're going to see how that goes. I've also created this uh, this new GoPro Hero 6 mount. So um, running this Velcro strap through the actual base plate, and then I can slide this uh, GoPro Hero 6 into there. It's quite a snug fit. Hard to do with one hand. So I can slide that into there like that and then the velcro just holds the whole assembly on the base plate so that's how that's going to work out so yeah i thought i'd uh, would run the gopro hero 6 uh, on this beach try and get some better footage for uh, stabilization with real estate so let's get it in the air and uh, see if we can get some decent footage of this beach maybe fly out to that thing in the sea there which is an old world war ii fort that used to protect this estuary um, during the war from the German submarines. So uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So on the first flight, my iPhone filled up. I ran out of space, so I've deleted some videos and uh, I'm not sure if you've got the commentary on that one. So I'm gonna put it up again, get a bit of altitude and then see if we can fly down towards the pier on the beach and then we'll come back a bit low level or something like that. I think I frightened that girl with a dog there, so sorry about that. I think it was a launch noise that caused the issue. Right, let's keep some altitude. Let's fly it down towards the, the pier. And I'm going to pop it into cruise. Cruise mode. Stop the throttle cruise along this beach. So below is the marshland where I flew my Dart XL, did some low level fun down there. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool place, great for low level, all those different little inlets that you can see. Uh, and the main town is to the left. And this is actually a, not the sea, it's actually a big estuary. It's a big river. So I'm gonna go down bank it left a little bit, keep it near the coast. I don't want to uh, ditch it in the water if anything does happen. So you can see the uh, quite a few holiday parks here, a bit of a seaside resort. The water is uh, its not really like the Mediterranean, it's not exactly Barbados is it? But it's home. Still takes me a while to get used to this DJI OSD. So it tells me we're doing 82 kilometers an hour. Thirty-five percent throttle. So down there to the left is where the marshland starts to end and the beach then goes down towards this this seafront. She's down here, as you can see. And then beyond that, to the left is my normal flying field, which is a bit more inland, where it's all green fields. Uh, it's only about 104 milliamp hours per kilometre. Three, just under three kilometres out. There's the pier down there. I'm not sure how low level I should go. I'm not sure if there's any rises in the 
the ground level here. I never did the uh, ran the terrain test on it to make sure there's no humps. I wouldn't want to lose signal. Yeah, so we made it to the pier, which is about three and a half kilometres. Okay, let's take it out of cruise and bring it back manually. So, drop it down a little bit. Get a little bit of break up now, I've dropped the altitude a bit. Should be okay. And always hit return to to launch. A lot of people walk with dogs on here, and then during the summertime, this place is packed with holiday makers. So now we're entering the marsh area. I've got a bit more confident to bring it in a bit lower along these channels. Really cool in the sunlight. I think that hump in the distance is my bank that I'm standing on, so I probably am higher than the plane, which is pretty cool. I do a low level run towards me. Yeah, the home arrow's dead on me. People looking at the plane wondering, is that a UFO? Okay, so here we are. How are we doing on battery? 3.6 volts. Let's get some altitude. A bit of inverted. Don't know whether we've got enough lipo left to go out and have a look at that that fort. We're doing 3.6 volts. I've dropped the power off a bit. So this is a fort that was used in World War II. Um, gun emplacements on it, and there's another one to the left that you might just be able to see in the frame. And a great big huge metal wire mesh net between the two. They used to lift that net up to stop submarines from coming up the river, German submarines, and then lower it again to let the British ships and Allied ships going in and out. So you can see pretty old, been there since 1945. So that would have been, soldiers would have been sitting on there or sailors, not sure. Let's get another look at it on the, on the turn back. You can see there's a gun emplacement on the top of it there. Okay, let's bring it in. Bring it in for a landing. I think I'll do the same approach as the last landing. Beautiful sun on the water. All these ripples, the sand, this looks so cool. Let's do a speed run past this on top of the hump, why not? Dive, dive, dive. Well, 
right, let's bring it into land. You can get too much of a good thing, you know. Oh, it's a perfect run. It looks like I'm landing on an aircraft carrier, actually. Now that would be a cool flight. Oh, flipped over. Caught a bit of long grass. Let's see if the foam armour worked and it protected the wingtips. Go and check that out. Ignition off. No, we're all good. Wingtip solid, so I'm not sure if it's protecting them or not, but they're not damaged in any way and it did flip over into that grass, so. Okay, let's just turn this LiPo disconnection alarm off. What day is it? Monday. Well, I should really go home for a coffee and not a beer, I think. Okay, till the next one. See what this comes out like. Take care. Thank you.